Ukrainian special operations forces have destroyed two Buk anti-aircraft missile complexes belonging to the invading Russian army in the Sumy region in northeastern part of Ukraine. Each of the missile complexes is worth $40 million. The footage of destruction of the complexes has been circulated on Telegram channels. Drone operators conducting reconnaissance in the area discovered an anti-aircraft complex and struck with a kamikaze drone. The second book that arrived in the area to evacuate the decommissioned combat equipment was also targeted by Ukrainian Ukrainian special operations forces have destroyed two Buk anti-aircraft missile complexes belonging to the invading Russian army in the Sumy region in northeastern part of Ukraine. Each of the missile complexes is worth $40 million. The footage of destruction of the complexes has been circulated on top. According to the calculations of the main directorate of intelligence of the Ministry of Defense, in general, more than 18,000 Russian servicemen voluntarily left the service in the combat units of the district. The lion's share of them, about 12,000 fugitives, belong to the 8th Combined Arms Army of the Armed Forces of the Russian Federation, which the enemy constantly engages in hostilities in the east of Ukraine. Approximately 10,000 of them were drafted by Moscow through mobilization. The remaining 2,000 are contract workers. It should be noted that ex soldiers deserting the Russian army are prosecuted in Russia and face obstacles in receiving asylum in the West. Since the full scale invasion, there has been a surge in asylum claims from Russian citizens, though few have been successful in gaining protection. Policymakers are split on whether to view Russians in exile as potential assets or security risks. However, in practice, deserters find it challenging to obtain asylum. Most hold passports that restrict travel to just a few former Soviet states, according to lawyers, activists, and the deserters themselves. At present, soldiers are required to have their internal Russian passports and military identification papers with them at all times, and commanders have no right to confiscate them. But in practice, officers can confiscate servicemen's documents when they go on leave or are hospitalized. But the problem is that most servicemen do not have international passports, different from the internal passports used inside Russia. In last June, President Vladimir Putin signed amendments that require men to surrender these passports within five days of receiving a draft summons. Thank you.